Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. We will talk about what is EFS and how to create your own EFS in your AWS account. Okay. So EFS is Elastic File System which provides a simple, scalable, fully managed Elastic NFS file system that can be used with AWS Cloud Services as well as you can use it for your on-premise resources okay so what is nfs nfs is a network file system through which you can share your files and your data between number of devices or here you can say uh, multiple uh, ec2 instances within no time okay now let's go ahead and create your efs go to your aws management console and type efs Okay, so I've already told you it's a scalable, elastic, fully managed cloud native NFS file system. Okay, which will charge you 8 cents per GB. Okay, now go to create file system. Now, since it's a network file system, it will use uh, VPC obviously. Okay, now I'll let it use to have a default VPC. Availability zone, I'll be having this EFS in my two availability zone. That is 1B and 1C. Okay, and it depends. Suppose if you create your EFS uh, in your North Virginia region, you might see uh, availability zone greater than two. Okay, you might see one B, one C, one A, and so on. But right now I'm in I'm I am in my North California region, so I'm seeing uh, only one B and one C. Okay. Now you can either assign your own private IP. Okay, or you can set it to automatic. Okay, now for security group, I want to create my own security group. Now go to EC2 and here I will create a new security group. I'll name it EFS SG. VPC, I'll again choose it default. For now, I'll add, I'll leave no inbound rule to be blank. For outbound rule, it is all traffic is open to all. Okay, now create a security group. So our EFS security group has been created. Now I'll go back there and I'll remove this and I'll add mine. Same I'll do this for this availability zone. Okay. Now go ahead and do next step. So here you can add, add tags also. You can enable lifecycle management policy also. What it will do it move all your files that are not been accessed for a certain amount of time automatically to EFS infrequent access. Okay, uh, that could ultimately save you up to automatically uh, that is 92% on your EFL, EFS bill. Okay, which is pretty cool. So I'll choose seven days. So EFS will check that if I have any file which has not been accessed for seven days then it will move that file to EFS IA okay throughput mode I can either go for provision or bursting I choose bursting now performance mode performance mode you can suppose if you have 50 to 100 instances which between which you want to share your file then you should go for maximum IO just to avoid any latency but I'll be sharing between two instances, so I'll go for general purpose. You can also enable encryption at rest, which will use your default KMS key provided by AWS. Okay, now go next step. Now, this is a file system policy, which is quite an advanced level, so I'll leave it here only. Now, go next step. Uh, so, this is our EFS. Okay, you can review it and create your file system so now it's creating see it's creating and you can see meter size is 6 kb which will increase eventually when we start uploading data in it and will be charged accordingly okay the number of mount, mount points is 2 so now let's go ahead and create our ec2 instances go to launch instance ami i'll choose linux 2 ami Type I'll choose T2 micro configure instance. I'll choose one instance VPC again. I'll set it to default. 
now subnet availability zone i'll choose 1b for this instance okay for public ip yes i'll enable it so you can also add your file efs file system here also but i want to do it manually and want to show you how you can do that okay storage i'll leave it to 8 gb tags i'm gonna do a uh, name tag Now configure security system. Okay, I'll create a new security group for my EC2, which I'll name it. Okay, for and for it 22 open for all. No problem. Review and launch. Acknowledge and launch instance. So our instance has been launched. Now again, I'll create another instance in different av availability zone. My this instance is in one B. So I'll go ahead and create new instance. This time I'll choose one C. Add storage tags. Again, I'm gonna give it a name tag. For security group, I'll choose my existing one which I have created just now. Okay. Launch. So both my instance are initializing right now. Okay. Now let's see what is our EFS doing. And it is available for both our availability zone. So now let's go ahead and SSH into our both instance. Okay, so I'm in my two instances which are running in two different availability zones. Now let's go ahead in EFS and see how to configure EFS. I'll follow this instruction. We need to install it. I'll do the same on my second instance. Okay, now we'll go ahead and create our EFS directory. MKDIR EFS. MKDIR EFS. Now, so our so we have installed our package, which is required for EFS. We have created our EFS directory now. All is pending is to mount our EFS directory. Okay, we have two options. Either we can use a simple mount option available with efs mount helper or we can mount it with tls with which will encrypt your data at transit okay and another one is using nfs client so we'll go with a tls which is much safer so you can see nothing is happening and connection has been reset by peer okay so this is why I want to do it manually. Now go back to our security group of our EFS. Okay, this one. As you have remembered, we have added no inbound rule in our EFS security group. Now let's go ahead and create an inbound rule. Add rule. Type would be NFS. Okay. And I'll configure my EC2 security group. Save rule. Now let's try it. And it's working now. So I have mounted my EFS to EFS directory on my both instance. Now let's go inside our EFS directory. Now, as you can see it is empty now, I'll create a file in one of my instance sudo hello world.txt so 
sorry. Now one file is created. If I see here, so our file has been shared with within AFS with our two different instances within no time. Okay, so this is what AFS is, and this is what and how NFS work. I hope you get to understand what is EFS and how you can create and configure your own between instances. So I hope you like this lecture. Thank you so much.